morning and welcome to the Shack and First Monday Morning Minute. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Shatkin and welcome to this Monday Morning Minute. We've been asking our valued customers and friends to reach out with any questions they might want discussed on the Monday Morning Minute or topics. And Dr. Rose Magno, thank you Rose for uh, requesting this, this uh, explanation today about how I use the cotton roll bite in my practice. Now, Rose, I've known you a long time. You're a fellow graduate of the University of Pacific School of Dentistry, and I appreciate your input. There's a lot of different ways to take a bite. Of course, the standard way is to have wax bite rims made, and then, uh, you know, for a full arch restoration, mark the midline, mark the smile line, have them bite together, and then send in those wax bite rooms with your final impressions and have it all mounted, and then uh, have the patients back for try-ins and whatnot. I try to streamline the process a little bit, and uh, the way I do that, is, and over the years I've developed my own technique of using cotton rolls to open the vertical by a certain amount. You can use one, two, or three cotton rolls, depending on how much you need to open the vertical or where you want that vertical to end up. So in these videos, you're going to see me using one cotton roll on, on a case and two cotton rolls on another case. Uh, the idea being it helps them to stabilize their jaw while they're closing together. When someone's biting on something, they can keep their jaw more still than if they're just closing a certain amount, their jaw shakes and moves all the time. So, so I have them bite on a cotton roll or two. And then I can also instruct the lab if I feel like it's overclosed, even with one or two cotton rolls, I can tell the lab how much I want them to open the vertical on the, on the articulator. It could be two or three more millimeters. Uh, in my case, you know, I have the lab right here, so it's a little bit easier, but I can, I can tell my lab to show me the articulated models, and then I can open the pin a little bit if I want to. So I caution you to use this cautiously, this technique. It works very well to establish occlusion, but you've got to be cautious on how you establish that vertical, because it's very easy to overclose or to, or to open them too much. But in the pursuing videos, you'll see me use a one cotton roll bite and a two cotton roll bite. And I hope it's helpful to you. If you have any questions, please reach out to us uh, and give us your topics that you want discussed on the next Monday Morning Minute. And I promise to do my best to, to show you whatever questions you're asking about. And I look forward to seeing you in Buffalo at our next upcoming course on September 19th and 20th. We're going to have a great program for you. And, and I can't wait to see all of you in person again. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Shack, and welcome to this Monday Morning Minute. Today I'm going to show you my cotton roll bite. I've been using this for many years and it works really well. In this case, we're just going to use one cotton roll, but very often I use two. Bite together for me. So we've got a temporary lower roundhouse and we're going to make the upper roundhouse. But as you can see, she's hitting here. Open for me and close together, a little tighter, nice and tight. Okay, open and close. Okay, that's good, right there. So that, with that, close together and hold it right there. What that does is it opens up a little bit of space, just enough for us to get a bite and to have enough room for porcelain. Bite a little tighter. Okay, right there. Can you hold it right there? Just like that, okay? Okay, we're going to do the one side. Hold it right there, okay? Don't move. Just keep biting, okay? Another 30 seconds, all right? So once this side's done, then I'll take the cotton roll out and we'll take the opposite side bite. So this is just one way of doing things. Everybody has their own way of doing things, but this has worked for me very well over the years. It helps them to stabilize, because sometimes when they bite on their own, they don't have something to bite on. The jaw moves around and stuff, so this way they're biting on the cotton and holding it real still. So we'll give this another 30 seconds or so to set up. Keep biting, okay? So this is a combination upper and lower roundhouse. On the top, we have a few natural teeth and some implants. On the lower, it's a full arch of implants. We're taking the, we took the final impression for the upper roundhouse here. And on the lower, we're letting that heal a little bit longer. Okay, so this is set now. Okay, you can open. 
All right, so now we're gonna just take that cotton out. I'm gonna put this back in, open for me. Hold on, don't bite yet. Don't bite, don't bite yet. I'm gonna get this back in, don't bite my fingers. Okay, now bite together again. All right, so there, now we got that. Now we're gonna do the opposite side. Keep biting just like that, okay? Mm -hmm. so now we're gonna connect the two sides. Just open a tiny bit, open a little bit. Okay, now close together, nice and tight, okay? So now we're connecting the bite together. Okay, just hold that just like that. If we had fully edentulous where we had upper and lower implants and no natural teeth to bite on, then I probably would have used two cotton rolls and done the same thing. Okay, so just keep biting. And uh, in about 30 seconds, we'll take the bite out. Okay, just another 10 or 15 seconds. This is Regisil bite registration material, but you can use whatever product you're most comfortable with. Blue mousse or whatever you like. Okay, open. All right, so here's our, open. Here's our bite. Okay. So here's our impression, our bite, and our opposing impression. So now we can go ahead and put her temporary on the top. But you can take a look at her mouth here. Here's the implants. And then the natural teeth in the front. Okay, all right, take a break. Good morning, and I'm Dr. Todd Shaft, and we're gonna to continue to talk about the cotton roll bite that I do on a regular basis. In this situation here, and this gentleman, we're gonna do a two cotton roll bite. And uh, here's how we do it, basically. He's pretty edentulous here. He's got a couple mini implants. We're gonna be adding a couple more and making him a Zantax upper uh, roundhouse. Close gently, sir. Close right there. And Hold it right there for me. Okay, hold it right there. Okay, hold it right there. Nope, oh, he's moving a little open. Let's try again. Close together and hold it right there. Okay, hold it, don't move, don't move, don't move. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Hold his chin still, please. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it together, just like that. You can use any registration material you want. This happens to be Regisil 2X, but uh, just hold it right there. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Hold it real still. Hold it real still. Don't move. Hold it. Hold it there. Keep stay, staying still. Almost done. I mean, ideally, you'd take impressions and have a wax bite room made and have them back, but this saves saves at least one visit. <clears throat> okay. Keep biting. Almost set here. Okay, here, let's take that out. Okay, so you see we got the good imprints of the teeth on the ridge, and that should be sufficient for the lab to do a mounting. So now the, my assistant will take an impression of the upper and an opposing. Let me just see here if we need to... All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the one cotton roll out of here. And then uh, have another tip on there, friends. I'm gonna put this back in on the bottom. Hang on, it's okay, you're, you're good. Let's see here. Relax your tongue. Okay, hold on. So now I'm just gonna add to this here so we can get capture this bite together. 
יפה. So I just took the one cotton roll out and we'll add to it. Everybody does bites different ways, but mm -hmm. this is a, a way for to simplify and save save him a trip here. Okay, so we're gonna do a Zantex upper roundhouse. Um, same shade as the lower teeth, and uh, he'll need some pink uh, at the top. Okay, open. All right, very good. Now we've captured at least the two, two implants here, and that'll help to mount the case. All right, thanks for joining me on the Monday Morning Minute. Join us this fall in Buffalo on Friday, September 19th, and Saturday, September 20th, for an intro course on mini dental implants. Come learn how this amazing procedure is helping so many people throughout America. And learn from Dr. Todd Shacken, who's placed over 45,000 mini dental implants in his career. So come and learn from the best. Out here in Buffalo, New York, we'll see you soon.